morning. My name is Barb. I'm the author of the Diaries of Liberty the Pug and today we're going to read book three. This is Liberty and Ebony Rose and Pippa. Today is the arrival of Pippa and she is the star of book three. Would you like to meet her? She's right here. Come here Pippa. Come and see mom. Oh, there she is. She's being a little shy today, and she's a little warm. Arizona's pretty hot. Say hi. You gonna read your bookies? Good girl. That's your daddy. Who's this? This is her giraffe. And that's her best friend. Okay, go play then. She's in a hurry. <laughs> anyway, today is Pippa's book, and we're going to read from it. The Diaries of Liberty the Pug, The Arrival of Pippa. Remember, it's Liberty that's talking and telling the stories. Hi, my name is Liberty, but my friends call me Libby. I am a fawn pug, and I live in my forever home with my mom, daddy, and my sister. My sister is a black pug who is a year younger than me. Her name is Ebony Rose. I am four years old this year. Four is not very old for a pug. I was born in a puppy mill, and this is never a good start in life. My legs are too short, I'm almost blind, and I have difficulty in breathing. I'm not as active as my sister, Ebony Rose, who's full of energy and loves to play. So Mom and Daddy think it would be a great idea for us to invite another little sister pug into our home to run and play with Ebony Rose. The Arrival of Pippa. This is the first chapter in Pippa's book. There you can see her. That was her giraffe then. You saw how big it is to her now. Quite small, huh? Today, Mom and Daddy have gone to pick up our new sister. We have her little crate bed ready and I'm sharing my stuffed toy giraffe with her. I have put the giraffe in her bed with her blankets, ready for when she arrives home. Ebony Rose and I are wondering what the new puppy will look like. Will the puppy look like me? I'm a fawn pug. I have a flat black face with brown and black thumb markings on the top of my head, and I have big, bulgy eyes. I have a curly tail and short legs. Mummy told me God made me beautiful and I believe Mummy. I walk proud with my head held high. Maybe the new puppy will look like my sister Ebony Rose. Ebony Rose is a big powerful black pug with long legs and a twice curly tail. Her tail looks like somebody stuck a huge pom-pom right on her backside. We will soon know who the puppy looks like, we can hear Mummy's key in our front door, and Mum and Daddy have brought our new sister home. Ebony Rose and I run to see the new puppy. Mum is holding her in her arms. Mum sits on the floor with us to show us our new sister. The puppy's very tiny. Her eyes are wide open, and she looks just like a mini-me. She is fawn with just a shadow of little brown thumb markings on the top of her head. The puppy's name is Pippa and she is six weeks old. Pippa is alert, looking around at everything. Mum and Daddy carry Pippa into the garden and gently put her down on the grass. Pippa goes potty right away. Ebony Rose and I follow her around, watching her very closely as she explores the garden. We think Pippa is very funny as we watch her running in the grass. Pippa's legs high stands no height stands no longer no higher than a blade of grass and the grass is tickling her tummy as she trots around the garden. She looks very clumsy trying to jump over the grass. After Pippa explores the garden, Daddy says, Time for Pippa to see her new bed. She's very tired and misses her seven brothers and one sister. So we must let her sleep. 
Daddy gently puts Pippa in her bed, and as she is all warm and cuddled up with her new blankets, Pippa finds the giraffe I gave her, and she moves the giraffe so that she is just peeking over the top, resting her head and looking at us. Pippa quickly falls asleep. Mum is happy with me for giving Pippa my stuffed giraffe. I feel proud that my giraffe will keep Pippa company while she is sleeping. Mum and Daddy bought a new bed for each of us when we arrived at our forever home. When we are small, the doors of our crate beds are closed while we are sleeping to help us feel cozy and safe. As we grow old, older, Daddy removes the doors from the crate beds and we learn how to go through our doggy doors. Then we have freedom to go where we want in the house and the garden. We can choose any bed to sleep or play in. I have the largest crate bed, so my sister often join me and we curl up together for a snooze. Mum thinks it's important that we all have our own safe place for a quiet time. <laughs> when we feel like it, we each have our special toys and blankets in our own crates. Some of us hide cookies and choose in our crates, but I won't say who. We have plenty of toys and dog toys and dog choy choose in our house, so nobody minds if a few go missing in someone's bed. Do you have toys and chews for your pets? Puppies have sharp baby teeth and need chew bones and toys so they do not chew on you or your things. Playing with their toys together teaches them how to share. What do you think is going to happen now? Pippa has arrived. Hmm. Well, next time you find out a little bit because next time we're going to read the chapter called Wild Thing. I think puppies are usually pretty wild. I'll see you next week. Enjoy your day. Thank you for listening.